Hi, my name is Amedeo Beretta and the channel is Animation Pandemic. In my previous Blender video I was showing how to transition from Maya to Blender in just a few minutes for character animators. To make the transition easier, we use Maya config add-on for Blender 2.8 from Form Affinity. It does a great job in converting Blender to Maya. And it's free, I mean you cannot ask for more in fact, it's just that you have to see what you plan to do with Blender. If you're doing anything more comprehensive than just animating and setting keyframes, maybe you should give Blender's native navigation system a try. And then if it doesn't work for you, you switch back to the Maya navigation system. During the video I expressed my concerns regarding the fact that you're making Blender behave in a way that it wasn't designed for. So while it does make it easier for you coming from Maya to navigate the viewport and so forth, the problem with that is that you're losing a lot of features that you would normally have for Blender and you are overriding a bunch of hotkeys that could potentially make your life easier while working. Not only that, but now that I'm following other tutorials that work with Blender default behavior, I find myself struggling because I have to reconcile what I have on my screen with what I see on their screen. Now this is not to say that the script from Form Affinity doesn't do a great job in converting the viewport of Maya, I'm just wondering which kind of effect this has on my learning. Most of the scripts you find around not being designed for animators, they lack some of that functionality. So you end up with some of the functions being remapped to the equivalent functions of Maya and some of them staying the way they were as they were designed by Blender developers. You might find that in the viewport some keys are working but as you move your cursor over a specific animation tool those keys are no longer working. If I press F in the viewport and I focus on an object and now I go with the mouse over the graph editor when I press F I expect these keys to be reframed but that does not happen because keys and menus are context-based. That means that if I press a key in the viewport Port, I will get a different result than if I press the same key in the graph editor. So if the script you're using for transitioning doesn't remap a key for every single window that you have in Blender, you will find yourself having to frame a selection in the viewport using F, then going to the dope sheet and being unable to frame unless you use Blender's default, which is the period button from the numpad. As you see now you have two keys to focus onto your selection, which is a bit confusing because now you have to remember two different keys. If I enable the translation tool and I want to constrain the translation to a certain axis like the vertical axis this way, this button is now gone. So that's one of the many functionalities I lose if I convert keys to Maya's keys. If you are selecting components in Blender and you are in edit mode, as you press down Alt and left mouse button by default you select an edge loop for instance. The Alt key now has been remapped so now we lost that functionality and many others in fact. So I think in general the problem with remapping these few keys that we need to operate the viewport like a Maya viewport is that we are overwriting a very large number of other hotkeys and the respective features. It is possible of course that if you are say just a character animator and you don't need to mess up with geometry and rig and whatnot then you might be able to work just as fine with the script installed. So as usual you have to see what's best for you and for your situation. The problem with me is that I am a character animator indeed but I also fiddle with modeling, rigging, compositing, rendering, so a bunch of other features and changing the keys to Maya's keys in Blender while initially it was really good. I was really happy to find myself in a familiar environment. After just a few operations and after doing a few tutorials it became more of a problem than a solution. A very handy way I have found to compare Blender's native behavior against the modified behavior that makes Blender behave like Maya was to install two Blenders on the same machine. This way I could have them open at the same time and one blender would be the modified one while the other would be the Maya-like one. This let me compare the two behaviors very quickly and it was very easy for me to make up my mind. So I hope this explains